Good morning, my friend. Good morning, grade six. Today we will complete our lesson, solution of equation. So our homework today, page number 519 in our book, Mental Health. Our objective of the lesson today, we need to understand the meaning of the equation. And we need to understand the value of the solution set and how we can satisfy it. And number two, we need to be able to solve any equation. So, we need to know how we can solve this. For an example, we will start with the first one. It gives me 7 plus a, 7 plus a is equal to 10. And I need to find what? I need to find the value of a. What we will do in this case, my friend? Firstly, I will try to substitute with the three numbers. I will use the three numbers, 3, 10, uh, 3, 13, and 17. You will try to move them to know which one gives me 10. So firstly, I will remove A and substitute it by what? Substitute it by 3. So firstly, I will remove the letter A and substitute it by 3. So I have here 7 plus 3. Firstly, I have 3. This is the number which I will make substitution with that. So, remove a, put 3. So, 7 plus 3 equal what? x level. It equals 10. Is this one equal to that? Yes, the two sides are equal. So, we can say that the number 3 is satisfied the equation. So, this one is right. But we must complete. How we can complete? Look at me. We will use another number. We will use 13. I know that 3 is satisfied. We need to complete. So we will use 13 now. Look with me. 13. We will remove A and substitute with 13. So 7 here plus 13. 7 plus 13 equals what? X then. It will be equal 20. Is 20 like this number 10? No. So this one is, will be wrong. Because 10 is different about 20. So 10 and 20 is, will be different. We can set that. 13 not satisfy the equation. So 13 not satisfy the equation. We must use the third number. The third number here is will be what? The third number here is will be 17. So we remove A and put 17. So we have here 7. Make it 7 plus 17. It will be equal to what? It equals to 24. So the result here is will be equal to 24. We will add 7 plus 17. The sum of them is equal to 24. Is 24 like 10? No. So this one is will be not satisfy the equation. So the solution set in this case is will be only one number. It will be 3. Maybe you have one number. Maybe you don't have. If you don't have, you will write the answer is will be 5. If you don't have a number from the 3, it will be satisfied, it will be 5. So, I give you one minute to try to think about the second equation. It gives me that this equation, I have 14 plus n, is equal to 24. Which number? From the three numbers, from the three given number, it gives me the right answer. Try to think. Excellent. I know that some of us solve that mentally. But we don't need to solve it mentally. We need to solve it every time by using substitution. What will make in this case? I will substitute it with 7 one time, 10 another time, and the third time with 34. So we will substitute it with this number inside the equation. So, firstly I will put 14 plus 7. 14 plus 7 equal what? 14 plus 7 here is equal what? Equal 21. If there is a 21, same is 24? No. So this one is wrong. I will use the second number. I will make substitution. I try to find the number. This number is satisfied the equation. So use now 10. So 14 added with 10. 14 plus 10 is equal what? 14 plus 10 is equal 24. If this number same with this one, yes. So I can set that 10. Here I use 7, it can't. Here I use 10, it will be able to satisfy the equation. So, 
Then here is the pieces, why they quit? So this one is right. But we need to complete. We need to complete what? I need to complete and use the third number, 34. Look with me. We will use 34 here. So we have here 14 plus 14 plus 34. 14 plus 34. What do you have in this case? 4 plus 4 equal 8. 3 plus 1 equal 4. We have the reason is 48. If this one is will be satisfy the equation, I have 48 here and 24. If the equal, no. So we will be 34 doesn't satisfy the equation. So 34 doesn't satisfy the equation. So this one, the only solution here is would be number 10. If it gives me, I have a minus, like this equation here, we have the equation says that I have 20 is equal to 24 minus 10. I know that you can find it mentally. One is intelligent student, one of the amazing student tell me that it will be 4. Because if I make 24 minus 4, it gives me 20. Yes, but we need to check that by substitution. We will need to make substitution in n or in the number n. Here we will make substitution 1 time by 2. So 24, I make it minus 2. 24 minus 2 equals what, my friend? This will be equal 22. So I use 2, it gives me 22. If I use 2, it gives me the answer is 22. Is 22 like 20? No. So this one is wrong. After that, number 2. I will use the second number, is 3. 3 we will make 24 minus 3. So 24 minus 3 is equal what? 24 minus 3, my friend, is equal 21. Is that like 20? No. So this one doesn't satisfy the equation. So it must be the third. But we need to check that. We will make 24, my friend, minus 4. 24 minus 4. What we will have in this case? 24 minus 4 it will be equal to 20. Is 20 like this number? Yes. So the solution set in this case is the third number is 4. And we said that 24 minus 4, my friend, it will be equal to 20. We need now to go to another part. We need to go to another part. How? Look at me. If we add multiplication or division. Multiplication or division. Like right. Here it gives me what in this example? Yes. Look with me to this example. He gives me, I have 9b equal to 36. What will do to solve this equation? He doesn't give me numbers? No, he doesn't give me numbers. So what I will do? If I have 9 times 3 equal 36, my friend, I will make like this. Divided by 9, divided by 9. What is the number beside B? What is the number beside X? The number beside B, the number beside the letter is would be 9 and it make times. So the object of this one, I will make divided by 9 and divided by 9. So if you have the number, have multiplied, I will divide the both times. So we divide the both sides by 9, 9 will cancel with 9. I divide it by the number beside the left. So B here is equal to what? Equal 36 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9, like this example, it will be equal to what? It will be equal to 4. So if you have a number beside the letter, we need to divide it by this number. What is the number here? It's 9. So I will divide it by 9. Look with me to the example number 17. The example said 11 that is would be equal to 66. So we will have here 11 is multiplied by that. I need to cancel 11 now. So divide the both sides by 11. Divide it here and third by 11. Again, if you have the number is 11, divide it by 11. If you have the number is 9, we will divide the both sides by 9. So that in here is equal what? That in here is equal to 66 divided by 11. If we have 66, it will be divided by 11, so the left is will be equal what? In this case, the left is equal to 6.
So again, if you add here the number, it's multiplied by 9, divided the whole 5 by 9. If you add the number, it will be multiplied by 11, so divided the whole 5 by 11. Whatever the number beside that. Here in this example, look at me, example number 18. He gives me what in this case? I have 8 is equal 10d. 8 equal 10d. How I can solve this? I will divide it by the number beside d. So we will divide it here and there by 10. Divided the both sides by 10. So if I will divide it the both sides by 10, so d here is would be equal what? 80 divided by 10. Again, here we have 8 divided by 10. So d here is equal what? D only is would be equal 8. So the value of d is would be equal 8. Again, my friend, here I have the side b, I have 9, so I divided the both sides by 9. Here we have the side that is 11, and to make times, I will divide the both sides by 11. Here I have the side d, I have 10, so I will divide them by 10. So whatever the number beside d, I will divide it by that. Whatever the number beside d, I divide it by that. Okay? Another example, he gives me that I have 4 t5 divided by m equal 5. I need to think by your mind, thinking only. What is the number? If I divide 45 over this, it gives me 5. 45 divided by what? Give me 5. I give you one minute to think about this. Explain. If I will divide 45 divided by 9, 45 divided by 9, it will be equal what? It will be equal what? Equal to 5. How I can get it? I can divide 45 over this. So divide 45 over this number, it gives me the number 9. If you divide 45, divided by 5, it gives me 9. Here, it gives me g divided by 4 equal 5. What is the number? I divide it by g, it would be equal. It would be divided by 4 equal 12. I need a number. Divided by 4, give me 12. I'll give you one minute. So thinking about the number, it's very easy. And I know that you are really to solving this. X then, it would be equal 48. How we get this? Look, if I have the first, I will divide. If I need the first, I will make multiply. So if I need the first number, I will make multiply. Here he gives me another example, 26 divided by k equal what? Equal to 2. What we will do to find the value of k? We need solving this equation. How we can make it? X learn. I will divide 26 divided by 2. He said for me, if you need k, whatever the position, the second or the third, you will divide 26 divided by 2. It will be equal to Equal 13. So again, my friend, if I have the first number, whatever the given after this, I will divide it. If I had the first, the first number is the devil. This will be called by devil. If I have the dividend, dividend, this name is will be dividend. So I will make the divide. If I have the second one, it will be the divisor or the quotient. I will make what? I will make times to find the dividend. Again, if you have the dividend, you will make the divide. If you need the dividend, you will make multiply. Thank you, grade seven, uh, grade six, sorry, for your time. And I hope that you enjoy our session and I hope I see you in grade 7 next year. Okay, bye bye.